Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bia and this is Bia's Beauty. Today we're doing my skincare routine. I literally just woke up, guys. Sorry for this shirt. I know it's full of hair, but you know, I sleep with my dogs when I'm visiting. So yeah, guys, we're gonna get right to it. I'm gonna show you my steps to take when it comes to skincare. Let's see what we got. right to it how are you guys doing by the way how you doing boo well normally guys what i like to do is start off with washing my face obviously we've been sleeping all night long we need to wash our whole face plus i have my dogs with me all the time in the bed i need to wash my face i use the refresh water plus vitamin b cleansing milk this actually has worked very well for me. I love it. It actually leaves my, my skin so smooth. I like to start with this and a little bit of warm water. Let's start. Alright guys, we're going to tap. Dry, not drag, but tap. Normally guys, I use that in the shower. I love to wash my face in the shower and I bring it down to my neck. But you know, we're doing this in the sink today. It leaves your face so smooth already. I don't even have to exfoliate right now, but I feel like it's been almost a week or I don't know, maybe four or five days that I haven't exfoliated. So I like to exfoliate at least once a week. And I'm using the exfoliante facial Elimina impurezas. So <laughs> this is a Spanish product and just any exfoliate, you know, that you have, just make sure you're careful with your skin. I'm going to just water a little bit of my skin before I put this on. I don't want to be too harsh. And here's the product. Just a little tiny ball is fine. Then spread it out through your fingers and you want to do circle motions. So very gently, I am not pressing on my skin at all. Plus I have a very, very sensitive skin and I do get red very easily or I get, it's just like my skin is very sensitive. So I have to take a really good care of it. Um, mainly when it comes to harsh products, I can't, you know, be harsh with it. So anyway, guys, you want to get into the nose. I kind of rub in circles after I have gone in circles i'm wetting myself a little bit more so i'm not too rough in my skin and just be careful but get all those dead cells those that dead skin out of your face once we got that we're gonna wash it right off right guys now that we have that off we tap dry Okay guys, normally after I do this, I literally just put my lotion on for the day, but we're gonna use the Green Revolution, which is a rose and berry aqua bouncy mask. And this has little petals inside and I really love it. We're just gonna pop that right on my hand. Look how pretty it is with the rose petals. Rose petals, we're gonna place this all over the face normally guys if you want to know like I have a sensitive to dry skin I would say by now I have a handle on it I mean it was really hard for me to understand what skin type I had you know like there's so many people in the internet that talk about like oily skin or at least the people I was watching they were always talking about like oily skin and I was not getting the fact that some of the products they were using was not good for me and maybe I was buying it without even knowing so I want you to consider like what type of skin you have or anything for that matter do your own research before you buy into anything you know we all make that mistake obviously you know they're selling us so many things nowadays whilst you're watching or looking for Instagram or anything like that. So just make sure you're buying the right stuff for your own skin. So basically I get very dry, mm, not very dry. If I'm hydrating my skin, it's all good. But, and also if I'm drinking water, but if I'm not for any reason, when I'm in Italy, my, or at least Milan, I don't know what it is about there. Maybe it's because it's a little bit 
uh, higher up in in the north and it's a little bit colder or I don't know guys but my face and skin literally gets so dry and I have to constantly like keep putting lotions and creams and this and that to keep it you know safe and bouncy and the elasticity and this and that so I placed this mask which is this is, a, is meant to be like a radiant and illuminates your skin and it's radiant. But yeah, I wanted to make sure that you guys are seeing what you have. You can also have both skin types. You can have mixed skin types, which is oily and a mix of dry or a oily and normal or normal and dry. There's so many types of skin out there, sensitive and dry like me, you know. So just make sure you're taking care of you're seeing and listening to your body like what it responds with what you know all right guys i'm gonna wash this petally thing off look at all these little like petals they look like bugs in my face i mean to be honest let's wash this off with a little bit of warm water not too cold not too hot okay guys <laughs> let's tap dry okay guys my skin it's like literally touching a baby's bottom it's so soft right now so i'm gonna uh brush my teeth but i thought i would include this because it's really it's weird i mean i'm sure you've seen it in the internet so you place a little bit of your your toothpaste on your brush i have this activate charcoal whitening powder you see so we're gonna place a little bit of that and you can see my teeth right now. I'm gonna brush them right now, but you can see them now. Let's see if they're whiter afterwards because it actually kind of works. I normally just get my brush and I just kind of like drop that on the sink, obviously, guys, because this does make a little bit of a mess. Get that and just brush away. This is the final result. Are they whiter? <laughs> I think they are, just a little bit. Alrighty guys, let's move on to the next step. I'm gonna get my, I have these little capsules for serum. I've used some as you can see, but I'm gonna use this one. I wanna tell you guys a little bit about serum. Guys, I like to use these little ones, like I don't know, they're just cute and they're to, you know, to take, they're really easily, so you just break the top off. Drop it on your skin. My face is a little tight from that mask. I'm feeling like the the like tightness of it. So I'm gonna place this and it's gonna be so amazing. This serum is just, oh my gosh. It literally feels like you have silk in your face. Oh my gosh, it's getting in my eye. Your lymph from your face. You always wanna bring the lymph, you want to move it always to your heart so since we're meant to bring the skin up that was a question i always had if we're meant to bring your skin up how are we moving the lymph or the lymphatic system like down to our heart right so you just do you grab your hands like this like this up and down so it goes to your heart i got into eyebrow piercings when i was younger you can probably see the scars a little bit right there so that literally everyone told me that my skin was gonna sag when I was older and literally I it, it does you know and it's all because of that freaking piercing but I don't regret it you know I had I had a good time having those piercings but yeah you need to remember that you will grow up and you know what people are recommending you might want to take you might want to take some consideration to it anyway guys now that it's nice and soft i like to get my jade roller i believe it's called now this broke not long ago i don't know how i snapped it i don't know but normally i get my jade roller if it's nice and cool it's so much better because i feel like it feels so nice in your skin when it's cold and it like in theory what this does is like it takes out puffiness i don't normally wake up very puffy at all actually but i like to use it because it feels nice it's like a little massage mainly with a little bit of serum you know just anything under your skin that can just roll right on so i like to take my skin and push it that way i don't go like this i go like this like 
I come back and I push and I push and I push and I push. Just like that for a little bit. And then I do the same for the cheek. You're, you're gonna see my face turning red because it's that sensitive that it gets red really quickly. And I like to push up. Uh, you see these lines, these smile lines, I like to get in there. Okay guys, now oh, that is feeling so, so good. Okay guys, this is the 24K Gold Progress Cream Regenerator Cellular with FPS 10. This is right it, okay? This is what I use during the day and this is what I use during the night. It's a 24K uh, Gold Progress Cream. It repairs the cells at night and this is for the regeneration of the cells during the day. So since it's morning time, Oh, guys, the weather today is just not that nice. Just like, oh, this is what it looks like. And I normally get it with my knuckle. But guys, one thing that I want to give you some advice is to wash your hands before you start all of this. Because, you know, you get dirty. You just get germs everywhere, right? So even so, I wash my hands and I wash my face a hundred times with different products. You know, I like to not contaminate my cream. So... I just go like this with my knuckle, you know, because the dirty fingernails or whatever that can be in your fingers, I just rather not, you know what I mean? Okay, now we have a lovely coat of hydrating cream. And what I like to do is just a little massage. Okie dokie. I like to get my circulation going. I'm using the 24K Gold Progress Eye Contour. I normally just place a little, a little ball on my finger. You don't need a lot, trust me. People use way too much eye contour. You don't need that much. I have my routine with my eye contour because I like to get in all the little maybe wrinkles under the eyes. Just do a little close-up right there. And I just do this. I like to get it in here. I don't know, have you seen, you know, sometimes people have like a darker part here or they just don't take care enough of like our eyelids. I like to put it everywhere. Eye contour is for eyes, so it's not only bottom, right? Okay, and if I have any left, I'll put it in my smile lines or in my lips my lips and my upper lips you know what because eye contour is literally for the most sensitive skin under your eyes and guess what your lips and around your lips is literally that sensitive as well as this well maybe a little bit less but it's made for really sensitive little parts and this is sensitive little parts so take care of that too okay guys this is my skin right after i have done my skincare I am so happy, so nice and soft. Oh guys, by the way, normally I don't put that serum on if it's not at night, uh, because it can ox oxidate, oxidize, well you know what I mean, uh, because it has some vitamin C or I don't know. So I like to put vitamin C at night, so it doesn't oxify, oxidate, oxidate. I'll put it on screen. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Uh, I want to give a little shout out to my cousin Sophia. She asked me to do this for her and to show her my tips and tricks. And I hope you love it. Sophia, I love you so much. I love you guys. See you in the next one.